All right, guys. So I'm with Cameron again, and he has a theory about expats who go to to live abroad, not just Colombia, but mostly any country where it's not spoken English, mostly. So his theory is called the 18-month theory. He's been thinking about this for a while. He told me about it yesterday, and I wanted to get on camera so you guys can hear his theory. So tell us, Cameron, what is your 18-month theory? Okay, so my thoughts are, having been here for a while and then watched a lot of the YouTube channels of people going all over the world as expats and living and watching their YouTube channels, that the first six months for everybody is that kind of honeymoon period, you know, like, I'm here, I've been telling my friends for years, I'm gonna do this, sold all my stuff, I'm, I'm in Colombia or wherever, and this is everything I dreamed of, and it's just amazing. And then after about that first six months, the living begins, because you've already traveled and done your fun stuff, and now the living begins. And you, We got past the honeymoon period. Yeah, you don't okay. speak the language there, so if you're not speaking the language, or, or you know, found someone who's gonna be your guide, then you start like it's frustrating just to get your medicines if you need them just to go to the grocery store your cable goes out for a day you don't even know how to talk to the guy to tell him it's broken your internet and but you've been there and you're fine with it now it's just the real life and now this the year's up and all of a sudden you're thinking man do i really want this and then you start thinking man but i've told all my friends and my family and everything uh -huh. and this is what i've wanted and now I need to make my out plan. And then they figure out how to make it work for the next six months, and then they bail. And just come back and kind of go, you know, um, it was, yeah, it wasn't what I thought, or this oh, or No, that, no, no, or... you said that the, the next six months was when it gets hard, because you have to start ordering medicine, you don't have to speak the language, right. that kind of stuff. And then the following six months, you spend the time, because it makes it 18 months. Right. You spend that next six months trying to figure out what's the most graceful way for me yes, to go home. My, my exit, my exit. Story. Right. While saving face. While saving face. Right, right, because you've been telling everybody for five years, you're three years, I'm moving to X, I'm moving to Y. Yeah, you sold everything. Is, yeah. Dark. Like a lot of guys, like a lot of people sell everything, they sell their home, they move over here, or they, even worse, they, they they pack up a big old shipping container and they move it here, exactly. you know? All right, so carry on, carry on with your theory. So, uh, and then they find that way to gracefully make the exit and go back home and figure out that some reason, you know, somewhere or another that the country was at fault. But the bottom line, if you come knowing anywhere with the language skills, you will be successful. Uh -huh. And if you do not have the language skills, uh -huh. if you don't make an effort to obtain those, then it's gonna be a tough slog. That's all there is to it. Right, language, Period. speaking the language of the country, whatever country right. you choose, really helps right. out to immerse up the culture. But you've learned Spanish, but what helped you? Like uh, you said you were here and you, right away you met Dora. Well, yeah. Right, at, w at what point did you meet Dora? five hours later <laughs> so you arrived in Colombia within five hours you met your your not then wife it just uh, yeah just yeah, met her yeah, and now she's your wife so you told me last night that was like your key to success for lasting this long because oh, you've sure. been here for four years now yeah four years and if it hadn't been for Dora my love if it hadn't been for Dora this would have been an incredible almost impossible and I would have and I had no plans to even move her I just came down here just for a vacation uh -huh. and literally stayed so yeah, the 18 month theory necessarily wouldn't apply to myself except for the fact that I made myself an expat and then you, I started watching expats and sure. I have now been here four years and I know it's been successful because the language I've learned from being with, with Dora uh -huh. and having to learn it every day and from being in the country, uh -huh. you know, but without her, I mean, man, I, you know, I got health insurance now and those things would be so difficult to show your Shows your huge, shows your crutch. Show your guide. I mean, yeah, yeah. Super, I mean, yeah. So that's, you know, I can't recommend this for everybody, but it worked for me. But if not, learn Spanish or whatever language. Right, because she, like, because you didn't have Spanish at times. So yet, but yeah, Dora. Yeah. But uh, if you would came single and then learn the language, it would have made you help go leaps and bounds past that sure. the hard time. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. So, let's see. Any other suggestions for expats thinking about? Because, like you said, you didn't come here as being an expat, but you became an expat. Have you seen other people like your friends? You don't have to mention names, but like people as you know of who come and. Thought they're gonna live for the rest of life in Colombia or other most countries. Them, okay, the ones that I've met while I've been here, most of them have gone back to to the United States or well to the United States or Europe. Where they Whoa. were from. Uh oh. <laughs> the wind's blowing hard. All right, so let's uh. So, they, so they, most of them have gone back. I've only had one one friend that's managed to from the states is that is thriving here 
Any out of out of how many people you say most? Like how many people well, you think? Maybe about eight or eight or ten. So out of ten people, one is thriving. One is thriving. One has stayed. Yeah, and he sp speaks Spanish. He learned Spanish. He was diligent every day. Take doing his. Is he in a relationship or no? No. So there you go. You don't you don't absolutely absolutely need a relationship, but no. the language is almost one key. One or the other. Because the language you, is the key. Because you mentioned that a lot of like people come. They spend this, the first six months honeymoon. Next six months kind of begrudging. Next six months trying to figure out their life, like exit strategy. Or they spend their whole time in their apartment or their house watching Netflix. That was my other buddy. Right. He stayed here, but he was just staying here where I watched Netflix. But he was he was staying and watching Netflix and living an like a inexpensive yeah, life. And that yeah. was, oh, it's so inexpensive. Right. I'm ordering exactly. delivery. Exactly. But that's not life to live. I mean, anybody could do whatever they want. But, in, in, you know. It's not living in Colombia. That's just existing in that's existing in Colombia in your house ordering d delivery, basically. I got gotcha. you. No, I wouldn't, yeah, yeah, doing much wasn't his thing. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. All right, guys, so there you go. You got you got Cameron's 18-month uh, theory. Let us know in the comments what you guys think about the 18-month theory, if that's true. I think it, it weighs, it, has, it holds weight, because many people will move abroad, and what I know about Colombia, a lot of people don't make it. They go home, you know, and they don't adapt to the culture, and definitely culture learning language and getting and knowing locals so there you go guys all right see y'all next time ciao ciao